talk to you first. Um, your startup is called Urbane. Um, I love the idea, but for those who aren't sure of what Urbane is exactly, why don't you give us your pitch? Absolutely. So in very simple terms, what we're doing is we're taking apart ordinary city maps where typically when you look at Google Maps, you see names of places and for Las Vegas, for instance, Henderson, Summerlin, all these places right. where, okay, I know where it is, but what does that really mean? So I've taken actually some images here and giving the Bay Area as an example. This is, take a look at an ordinary map where you have Dublin, Oakland, San Francisco, and that doesn't really mean that much. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've given all of these places contextual meaning. So in other words, the social descriptions, the architecture, whatever people first think of when they think of a name of a city, a name of a place, uh, we've been creating new maps that display this kind of information. So give and us an example of like something in San Francisco where it would probably be woolly to a tourist, but it would give them a far better idea if, if they were looking at it in Urbane. I think for San Francisco, there are way too many <laughs> <laughs> That's true. potential examples, but most people don't realize when they first go in how there's fog on one side of the city and there's absolutely no fog on one side of the, of the other. So those kinds of descriptions, they're hard to explain when you try and simply put, put the name in place, right? Very true, Unless you very call true. it foggy bottom, you're not really sure <laughs> it's foggy. Yeah, yeah. So we found that a lot of people from real estate, where they're looking for social trends, where should I put my business if I'm building a, a hipster shop? Where would those hipsters be? <laughs> to folks who are relocating and they're saying, I'm a family person. I've heard about Summerlin, that's a very family friendly place. Maybe I should move there. This is a great idea. So you're saying that these these kind of new names for these areas are actually crowdsourced as well. So yeah, how, how does that work? So people have been emailing us. We actually initially create a base map of our own, given some research that my teammate Trevor, who's in the audience here, and I, we again do the research. And then usually once we do a baseline, we have all these folks that email us saying, that's not right, or I can do a better map. Or they even suggest a new city for us to do. That's so super cool. And we want to take that to a more interactive level where we want people to contribute without us even touching any of the data, for instance. So it would be truly kind of created by the community that obviously know their area best and, and are willing to kind of lend that knowledge to, to help people have a better experience when they get to town, right? That's right. And for the first part, we have just been selling prints and physical things of these maps. And that is really like cool. A tote bag of Seattle, for instance. What better <laughs> way to show your pride for Seattle by wearing a tote bag that not just puts in neighborhood names. How many posters have we seen, right? They're, they're just full of place names, but they don't actually describe the descriptions below of what a city actually is. Right, so for example, I'm seeing here, it says the magical food forest in one of the sections of Seattle, <laughs> which I think is really so it's, cool. It's clearly known for food and for magical varieties of food. <laughs> awesome, so congratulations on going through the progression labs. Um, so what's the next step for Urbane? At this point, it is developing that new technological layer. Mm -hmm. I think we've been selling these posters and prints pretty consistently, but we know that that's not going to be, we're not an art project. Right. I mean, that's not the end goal. It's a great way to spread the word about what we are, mm -hmm. but we do want to make this a more interactive process, like I mentioned before. Great. So we're hoping to do that right here in Vegas. Awesome. Well, if people want to find out more about Urbane, what's the easiest way for them to do that or to get in contact with you? They can go to mapurbane.com, mm -hmm. which is our website, and you can click on our About Us page. We have a nice little picture of our team in front of the, the Vegas sign, which the other team, Macho, <laughs> one of the photographers, took for us. So we're, we're grateful, and it's, it's great to be here. I love it. Thank you.